Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Monday, October the 25th, 2021. I haven't been feeling well for the last few days, so I haven't been on, but I'm back now. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for the collective. Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Money. She's wearing a beautiful gold dress and a green shawl because Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the Queen of Money, the Queen of Pentacles. This person is independent, grounded, bound, stable. A business person makes their own money, takes care of their money. We're just crossing this. The Three of Wands. Wands are Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands talks about waiting for something or someone. You might have your eye on someone. Consciously known. The Nine of Swords. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are about honest, clear communication. This is talking about sleepless nights, having dreams. Thinking what you could have, would have, should have done differently if you had the chance. Sleepless nights. Worry. Unconscious. The Nine of Pentacles. Business person card. Single because you want to be single. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She's... The dress is gold because money is gold. And there's branches because pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable, makes her own money, takes care of their money, single because they choose to be single. Recent past, the Knight of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. If you do not give the Knight of Swords honest, clear communication, he will use his sword and he will cut you out of his life. But the Knight of Swords is a younger energy than the Queen or the, a King and can come off as blunt, abrasive, and moving in and out of your life quickly. Near future, the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. See her, she's sitting cross-legged in the middle of the forest, it looks like. There's trees. Um, this is where we go to get right. Being in nature, nice little fire. This is taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Where do you find yourself? King of Cups, King of Love. Cups are water energy, cat spicy Scorpio. The king of cups, he's loving, caring, compassionate. He's a nurturer, he's a good parent, he's a good partner. King of love. External influences, three of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of pentacles talks about working on a solid, solid foundation with someone. Uh, this could be a work situation. This could be um, you with a friend or you and your partner. Three of Pentacles. Hopes and or fears. Seven of Pentacles, the money tree. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus for Capricorn. She, she, she is tending to her pentacles on the trees, watering her money and watching it grow. Overall outcome. The Knight of Wands. This is, card has player energy attached to it. Knight of Passion. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I like the dragon. This person is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy, exciting, but can have a player energy attached to them. 
Male or female. Bottom of the deck. Three of cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This talks about happiness, friendship. Uh, these three people are having drinks. Uh, they might not have seen each other for a while. It's kind of a reunion. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know how I feel about having two threes here. The death card, Scorpio energy. The death card talks about death and rebirth, the end of a very painful cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. Death and rebirth. Oh yeah, five of cups. Cups are water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It looks like you got your heart broken. There's three cups. These three cups. Cups have been spilled. You are concentrating on the spilled cups. Meanwhile, there's the two cups of love on the table behind you. Stop looking at the spilled cups. Six of cups. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. Six of cups, this talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia, right? thinking back to a time when things were better and sweeter. The only problem with the Six of Cups is that sometimes we tend to look at the past with through rose-colored glasses. So make sure you're remembering things exactly the way they were. And the Fool. The Fool. This is Aries energy. Fool talks about taking a leap of faith, starting on a new journey. She's on a broom, so she's not going to fall. She's taking a leap of faith, starting a brand new beautiful journey. Oracle cards. Flip them over. Here and now. Concentrate on the present. All that glitters, all that glitters is not gold. Someone, there might be deception here. Chop wood. Work, work, work. Building on a solid foundation. Work. So we had the queen of money, waiting for something or someone. Single because you want to be single. Ice night. Rest, relax, recuperation. King of love. Working on a solid foundation. The money tree. Friendship, reunion. End of a painful cycle. Start of a new cycle. Nostalgia. Start of a new journey. This... This ice night might not be someone you could trust. Sleepless nights. Player energy. Having a broken heart. There's two threes here. Three of pentacles and the three of cups. Which could mean third party. Which would be the end of a painful cycle. And we had concentrate on the here and now. All the glitters may not be gold. And work, work, work. Have a great day. Um, I will talk to you later. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.